Hey, Primary 6 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery. And today we're going to move on to question number 2 for the Primary 6 Foundation Math Paper 1. And for question number 2, let's take a look at the question. The question says that the square ABCD has an area of 16 cm squared. Alright? So, first things first. What do you know about square and its area? The square and its area is actually equals to its side times its side. Okay? Now, next thing you're going to read. It is divided into 8 equal parts. Very important information. 8 equal parts as shown in the figure below. So, the first question is, what is the length of AB? So, AB is actually the side of that uh, big ABCD square, right? So, my question to you is, do you know what the side is if you know what the um, area is? Remember, it's always side by the side. And the sides are always what? Equal. So, let's draw this on our notebook. Okay, our notepad, sorry. So, let's take a look here. This is A, B, C, D, right? Okay, I'm going to draw a very bad square. And its area is 16 cm squared. Now, what do you know about the sides? Okay, the sides, let's just name it for this time. We name it X, okay? X here and X here. We don't know what they, it is, right? So, we just name it X. Now, X and X are actually the same number. So, I'm going to give you a different example and show you how you can actually find out what is the area of a square. So, let me give you the example of, let's say, a smaller <coughs> square with the um, area of 9 cm squared. Okay? Now, we will know that it's actually 3 times 3, therefore giving you 9 cm squared. Okay? And then, we, for example, we give you a smaller triangle. Okay? And it's actually 2 by 2. And what is the answer? It's 4. So 2 by 2 gives me 4 cm squared. So as you can see, the size of a square is always the same. And so the number is either 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 5 times 5, and so on and so forth. Okay? And these numbers on, this, on the right-hand side is 1 cm squared, 2 is 4 cm squared, 9 cm squared, squared <laughs> 16 cm squared, as well as 25 cm squared. So what do you see here? The area, <coughs> excuse me, the area of the square is actually here, 16 cm squared, which means that each side is actually how much? 4 by 4. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so which means this is 4 and this is, also, this is also 4. And what happens to be this side is actually A, B. Ah, so the working is actually very simple. You just put... Um, 16 cm squared is actually equals to 4 cm by 4 cm. That means times 4 cm. Therefore, <clears throat> your AB is actually equals to how much? 4 cm. Good job. Now, let's go back to the second question. The second question, um, part B, is actually a bit more tricky. It's actually very simple, okay? So, the question says, find its shaded area. Okay, for this uh, to be easy, you need to understand line number 2, which is over here, right? which is over here, it is divided, oops, sorry, it is divided, oh, what's happening? <laughs> it is divided into eight equal parts as shown in the figure, eight equal parts. Now, square ABCD has an area of 16 cm squared. It is divided into eight equal parts. Okay, let me just draw this out for you so that it becomes very obvious, okay? Area square, sorry, square of area, no, area of square ABCD is 16 cm squared. And this equals to how many parts? Eight. Eight parts. Okay, can you see what it's, I'm trying to say here? I'm trying to say eight units equals to 16 cm squared. Therefore, what is one part? <clears throat> if eight parts is actually equals to 16, how many is one part? Good job. 16 divided by eight. Okay, which equals to what? Two. And hence, look at the question again. The question says that the shaded area is actually how many parts? 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, 1 part equals to 2. Therefore, 4 parts is equals to, what? 2 times 4. Good job. Therefore, we have 8 cm squared. And that is the answer for part B. Pretty simple, right? Well, all you have to understand to make, to make sure you understand is <clears throat> to read every single aspect of the question. Every part of the question, you read it, you understand it, and you can see the patterns. 
All right? With that, oh yes, one more thing. Let's remember one thing before we go. It becomes very easy when the more I practice, the easier it gets. Remember this, the more I practice, the easier it gets. So we're going to practice a lot of questions in the next few weeks all the way up to your PSLE and I guarantee you if you work as hard as I do and if I work as hard as you in helping you, the thing is we are going to achieve that A star. Alright? So with that, this is Coach Saiful signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.